Good morning everybody, outside, and as you guys know, I got the snow machine out the other day, had some great adventures planned, and uh, you can see where it's sitting right now, on the front lawn with no snow. So we've had rain, which got rid of most of the stuff, and the ground is actually diggable, so today, yeah that's right, we're going metal detecting. I actually put all my metal detecting gear away, but I'm going to dig it out. I think everything should still be charged. Enough for a few hours anyway. And we're going to go back to the waterfront, just to that park that's turn of the century. Um, I know there's old coins there. Is there silver? I think so. It's an easy one. And it's cold, so... <laughs> Gary doesn't want to go... Uh, to be honest, I do want to go for Colonial. I do. And we're going to do that next spring. I spent an hour and a half this morning looking at maps. We're missing something on that Colonial front. Um, there's part of that river we're missing. I know there's a spot where we can find more Colonial goods. If you guys haven't watched those last three videos that we did last month, they're excellent. We found some really good Colonial stuff. Go back on the channel. I even rewatched them last night, and that got me pining for some metal detecting, so it's cold out. <sighs> we need an extra layer. Just telling you guys what I was going to do today. I was getting cold, so we're not ending this trip short. The last time the wind chased us out of that park, I'm going to find some silver today. Oh yeah, how many times have I forgot that shovel? Not today. Hey, new sunglasses, look at that, Maui Jim. Never heard of them, but apparently they're all, all the cool guys are wearing the Maui Jims. We need to talk uh, to Stan. Stan had some winter projects, restoration stuff, so we need to touch base with Stan. Four years ago, I was metal detecting until December the 12th. We're still end of November here, so there's hope that I could get to 50 videos, guys. We're at 46. Seven, I think for the year so today is gonna to be 48 this channel is all about Gary right so you you guys are gonna know more than you wanted to know about Gary but hey some of you seem to like that if you're ever in town stop by I'll have a beer in the garage for you anytime Tom's running the hot tub hey anytime guys come on over don't bring any COVID though all right, first hole, 1969 American. So I'm loving the Samsung S20 Ultra. The video is so good, I actually, you can see every wrinkle on my face. I hate that, but <laughs> that's what I wanted. Better 4K autofocus. I just ran into my first problem with this camera. This is the first video I tried to make metal detecting. It won't autofocus on close up objects. I have to go in and manually select pro video and go to manual focus to focus on a coin in my hand. I just can't find the perfect solution for my channel, guys. I don't think it exists. Uh, I, I'm just so annoyed with every device, including this 1200. I mean, this thing works for most of the video stuff I'm doing with it, but metal detecting is a huge part of what we do on this channel. Why the hell, if you can focus within five inches, why doesn't auto detect that, that mode like the Samsung 7 did, the Samsung 9 did? So you buy a premium phone and it can no longer do that? Ah, oh, come on. Oh, snap. <laughs> Second hole, I think I got a silver coin. I thought it was going to be another penny. I was grumbling away to myself. I'm not sure. Let's take a look. This thing usually doesn't find regular clad dimes. Let's take a look. Look at that. I think that's silver. Oh, that's silver. Got to be silver. Come on. Be silver. feels really light I don't know oh yeah that's silver baby 65 not an old one but we'll take it silver hey if we were driving the electric car that coin would have paid for three trips down here but because we got the truck we got to find nine more coins <laughs> probably a three dollar coin something like that just for silver content alone so any silver coins even the ones that aren't really old like that are still worth finding and I like to put them in my collector book anyway 
I was wrong about the wind. There's a lot of wind. A cold wind. I know I talk about getting to 50 metal detecting videos this year. Then I get out here in the cold and the goose shit and I realize you should just be happy with the 47 you got. Nothing but special treatment for the fans of this channel. Oh, can you guys see that nail down there? 12 inches, rang up like a coin. Right there. Nineteen sixty seven Centennial Penny. You know what warms a man's heart in Arctic temperatures? Silver, baby! Silver! I already saw it. I already saw it. It's under this clump. Look at that! I can even see the date. 1941. Oh, baby! I'll take it! Oh, this one looks like it got hit by the lawn tractor back in the day or something. It's bent. Still one for the collection. So I've got two more to show you guys. And the reason I'm showing you these is because they've both been hit by the lawn tractor as well at some point in history. I dug these back to back, a 79 and a 45 Canadian, a Georgie. And both of them got really nice big dents in them. I don't think I've ever found three in one day that had been mauled. This one almost looks like it was shot with a 22 or something. I don't know. It's got a pretty good dent right in the center. Anyway. Wow, look at the shape of this old wheat scent. It is immaculate. You don't find wheat pennies like that in that good a shape that have been in the ground. The Canadian pennies hold up much better. 1946. 1940 or 1946? I think it's 46. Wow, that's that's a good one for the collection. And here comes the snowstorm. But two silver and a nice old weedy like that in about 30 minutes of digging. We're not leaving yet. I got a little bit of energy left, just a little. See, this is just because I said we're going to put the snow machine away and get out the metal detecting gear. This is what I get. Once you get past the initial stage of cold and fingers stop working and toes stop feeling, it's not that bad out here, really. 69 Canadian. 65 Canadian. Well, I just learned something about uh, my pinpointer here, the pulse. Apparently when the batteries are going to die, it makes an extra little chirping sound, which I've never heard or noticed before. Um, luckily, I threw extra batteries in the truck before I left the house. I must be gung-ho. I must not be done. I'm freezing. But I walked back across the field to put new batteries in here. So we're not done yet. Starting to get uh, wet enough to be muddy out here. So I don't know how much longer we're going to go. We're going to try a few more holes. I'm hoping for one more silver. Three silver in a couple hours, that would be fantastic. I can't make this stuff up, guys. Ask and ye shall receive. I think I've got another silver here. Look at that. It's looking like silver to me. This is the next hole after I just said that. Oh, that's an old, that's an old one. That's a wreath. Hang on. We gotta clean this one up for you guys. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! An eddy! Nineteen oh seven. Look at that. Gary stuck it out. We're not gonna do any better than that. Um, we're gonna end this video on a high note. I'll show you the coin up close. I'll put some pictures at the end. Nineteen oh seven. 
three silver in two hours, including a real good old one. It's pretty wiped on the back, but I'll take it. Look at that, 1907. The back is pretty flat, pretty worn. Awesome find. All right, Nanook of the North signing off, guys, on a 1907. That's a great way to end the day, so that's where we're going to do it. Thanks for joining me. If the sun comes out, we may get out detecting. We may hit that 50 videos, but I'm making no promises. Thanks for watching, guys.